Greetings, scholars. It's Brian again. I just want to do a quick update. You know, we talked and started off with working through an individual instance of, of argument, and you looked at an editorial, and we talked about claims, evidence, data, values, all of those types. Then we talked about forms of reasoning. We used the Toulmin model, and we talked about induction and deduction. I just want to make a marker that we're moving from one single voice in an advocacy to the notion of a broader sense of many, many voices. So I just want to talk about the notion of a controversy and how that's important for us going forward and the idea that we might be able to productively map controversies. Now let me start with this. We live in a rhetorical world. We uh, mentioned that the, these concepts from ancient Greece, they stay with us. We've been talking about different things that affect us every day. We live in a world where there's full of differences and disagreements, full of what we would call controversies. Now, what is a controversy? Don't, don't get it mixed up. I'm not talking about something that's a hot topic. I'm talking about a prolonged dispute, a prolonged dispute in which there's no hope of resolution in sight. Remember when we talked about values, I said, you know, it's not really a piece of evidence or data that's going, to comp that's going to settle this. When we talked about the notion of argument, we said many, many people can participate. Thousands, millions, maybe even billions of people can participate in argument and debate. This is not the same as being contentious. This is the same as saying there are multiple sides and there's not going to be any kind of one piece of data or evidence that settles things. Think about the right to life controversy. I'm talking about abortion in the United States. There's no study that's going to come out in which everybody on the many different sides of the abortion controversy are going to say, oh, okay, I get it now. I'm convinced by that one piece of evidence. It's not going to happen. Think about the debate over whether or not we should have more government for the economy or less government for the economy. There's no single piece of data, no study from economic indicators that's going to make people agree on these basic questions. Really, it's because they have to do with their differences in values and things. Think about even simple controversies that have been facing your life. Is it because you're missing some evidence or is it because the values have made things very, very complicated and there's controversy embedded in that? Now we might ask, if there's controversy and it's not about data or evidence, does that mean that rhetoric has failed? No, I don't think rhetoric has failed. I think we have a much more complicated sense of what's going on. Take, for instance, the recent debates and controversy over school shootings. We don't know what to do about these problems. We have the instances in Parkland, uh, in various places around the country. In fact, by the time you watch this from my recording it, there'll probably have been another one. These school shootings are getting really, really common. What do we do about them? What is the cause? There's no single piece of evidence that's going to resolve this. Some folks are in favor of more gun control. Some folks are in favor of changing the climate in schools. Some folks are in favor of mental health. It's not just for or against. Nobody's for or against school shootings. Everybody recognizes it as a problem. The question is, what do we do about it? And it's even more complicated. Do you remember when we had the uh, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas uh, shooting last uh, little while ago, and students were uh, trying to get activism going, and student voices were added to it? Well, that's another part of the controversy. It's not for or against. It's now the student voice. We want action because this affected us. And then there were even people that criticized those students that called them crisis actors. Remember that? Identifying them as crisis actors that they were trying to take advantage of the situation for their own personal gain. That's another part of this controversy. So this picture of just the school shooting controversy, it's incredibly complicated. It's got multiple voices. It's not a yes, no, for or against. There are lots of different voices going on in the place. It doesn't mean that rhetoric has failed. In fact, we need rhetoric, we need these concepts of advocacy in order to figure out exactly what is going on. And in order to productively understand the different voices, we need the concepts of advocacy that we've been talking about. We need to know induction and deduction. We need to know all of these things to help us figure out the way that the controversy is functioning so that we can make heads or tails of this cacophony all around us. Think about it and think about the controversies that are affecting you right now as we move forward in advocacy. Good luck.